Hi guys, it's Rach. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my recent skincare purchases because you guys know me. I absolutely love a bargain and Priceline has been having some amazing, amazing sales on both skincare and makeup recently. And they also have an offer, a really, really cool goodie bag, which is valid from Thursday the 19th of June till Sunday the 22nd of June, where all you have to do is spend $65 and you get a really, really large goodie bag full of skincare products. This is so heavy and it's valued at over $340, which is really, really cool. So I'm going to share with you guys some of the things that I picked up and then I'm going to share with you guys what is in the goodie bag. So first off with the purchases. Whenever there's a sale, of course, I go for my basics first. One of them being my Simple Kind of Skin Cleansing Facial Wipes. They had 20% off Simple and they were also part of the goodie bag deal. So I decided to pick these up because I use them all the time and I absolutely love them. Also on my list was the Neutrogena Pore Refining Exfoliating Cleanser. This visibly reduces the appearance of pores and refined skin with alpha and beta hydroxy formula and gentle micro beads. I've seen a few people mention this recently and it's just kind of been in the back of my mind as something that I wanted to try. I also really enjoy the Neutrogena products in general so I'm looking forward to giving that one a go. Another brand that I wanted to try for a little while is Bondi Sands. They are an Australian tanning brand and I decided to pick up their Summer Bronze Instant Tan. This is in the shade Light Medium and it's a wash off tan so it has a light mist spray that you spray all over your skin and it will give you a tan and then obviously you wash it off at the end of the night. I tend to not maintain a tan of any sort throughout winter because I'm just, that's just way too much work for me. But sometimes if you have a special event or a special occasion and you want a little bit of color, something like this usually comes in handy. I think it may be a little bit like the Sally Hansen airbrush legs, but I wanted to give it a go and just and see how it worked. Another Australian brand that I wanted to give a go was People for Plants. This is an organics brand and this is their Aloe Grapefruit and Garnet Face Scrub. It says cleanse, detox and energize for all skin types and it has 68.7% organic ingredients. I do like a good face scrub and I thought I would give this one a go. I also do like that it's organic and it has a lot of natural ingredients. I I think that's a real big trend that's where makeup and skincare is really going to, looking at more natural things, removing all the dangerous chemicals and things like that. So I thought I'd give this one a shot. A brand that's new to Priceline is Antipodes or Antipodes. I'm not quite sure the right way to say it, but it is a New Zealand brand and something that I've wanted to try for quite a while. So I picked up a few things from them. The first one is the Rejoice Light Facial Day Cream, and this is with nutrient-rich avocado oil, manuka flour, and sweet almond. I really, really like the sound of this, and I used it today, and it felt really, really nice on my skin. It was creamy and moisturizing without being too oily or too heavy, if that makes sense. It says it's a gentle, light, and non-oily facial day cream to enhance your skin's natural hydration. Nutrient-rich avocado helps create a healthy, plumped visage to help decrease the appearance of fine lines with antibacterial manuka flower oil promotes the perfect blemish-free complexion. So it sounds really good. All the things that I want from my kind of skincare, I do want hydration, but I also want to help my blemishes and I want to try and prevent any more from coming. So I'm gonna, I've got high hopes for this. I'm going to give it a go and see how it goes. I also do like that it is certified organic in New Zealand. Another product I picked up was their Aura Manuka Honey Mask. This has Vanilla Pod, uh, Po, I don't know how you say this, Pohu Takawa Bloom. I've clearly butchered that, but it's, I'm guessing it's some sort of New Zealand plant and Manuka Honey Active 20 Plus. So this is a mask. I actually, again, sneakily used it last night because I just couldn't wait that you apply all over your skin. You can use it a couple of times a week and you leave it for 15 minutes and then wash it off. It feels very creamy. It's almost like applying a really thick moisturizer and then you just rinse it off. And this one is supposed to um, help cleanse your skin. It has active ingredients that will both hydrate your skin, but it also has that Manuka honey, which has potent antibacterial properties to cleanse and help clear blemishes. So it's also, so it balances your skin, which is exactly what I want because I have, like I said, both oily kind of acne prone skin, but it does, definitely does get dry patches. So another product that sounds right up my alley and I can't wait to really have a chance to test it. And the last product was probably the most expensive product that I picked up, again from Antipodes. This is the Apostle Skin Brightening and Tone Correcting Serum. This one says that it's scientifically shown to help brighten your complexion in five days, which is amazing. So it has a whole heap of ingredients in it. It's a water-based serum that's supposed to help correct dull, um, blemished or uneven skin while also restoring essential moisture. It also has a particular type of water in it, Waywera water, 
which is voted the world's best water. Now, I didn't even know there were different types of water, let alone that people voted on which one was the best, but apparently this serum has the world's best water in it and a whole heap of other ingredients. And the last thing that I picked up was from Carmex. This is their Moisture Plus Lip Balm, and I got this sheer tint peach. I was actually hoping that it would smell like peach, but unfortunately it doesn't. It just has like a peachy tone to it. It kind of smells like vanilla. But I do really like the Carmex uh, lip balms and I've gotten one of these before. I think it was like a strawberry or more of a pink berry toned one and I used that all up so I thought I'd give this one a go. So they were all of the products that I picked up. Now let's see what is in the goodie bag. I think you guys are going to be pretty shocked because I was pretty shocked when I saw all that was inside it. In no particular order I'm going to start off with these uh, Essenza. Fuss Free Naturals Natural Facial Cleansing Wipes. These exfoliate and cleanse with citrus and pineapple enzymes. And they have that, it looks like they have like a kind of textured wipe because they are supposed to be exfoliating. I've never seen this brand or heard of this brand before, but I do love me some face wipes, so I'm looking forward to giving those a go. From Thursday Plantation, there is the Macadamia Oil Ultra Hydrating. It helps improve the appearance of dry skin, aging skin, or sun damaged skin. 100% naturally derived. Again, most of these seem to be full size, which is pretty amazing. Look at that. I've never seen Macadamia Oil. It's like an oil before. I've seen Rose Hip and Jojoba and things like that, but um, I'm looking forward to giving that one a go, seeing what it's like. It does say that you can use it on both your face and your body. I wonder if you could use this in your hair as well. Maybe if you had really, really dry hair, you could put it on the ends. I don't know. We shall see. From Cocoa Butter, or from Palmer's Cocoa Butter, we have the Intensive Relief Concentrated Cream for Hand and Body. This is for sensitive, dry, or irritated skin. It's a rich formula for very, very dry skin. So I think that this is great for winter. Um, I definitely probably use this on my elbows and my knees, which are particularly dry. But um, it says moisturizes for 24 hours. And again, a really big size there. We have a couple of cleansers here. The first one is from Neutrogena Naturals. This is the Purifying Facial Cleanser. This is from their new, more natural range. This one has no harsh chemicals, sulfates, parabens, petrochemicals, dyes, or phthalates. We also have one from Biore. This is for combination skin. It's their balancing cleanser. Cleans and balances provides an even all over clean without disturbing the skin's natural moisture. So it's really good that there's stuff here for everybody's skin type. I mean, this would probably be for like more normal skin. This one's specifically for oily skin or people who, who have acne prone skin. Here we have something for anti-aging. This is the Nivea Hand Cream Anti-Aging with Q10 Plus anti-wrinkle. This is probably something I'll give to my mum because I know that she'll really enjoy that. From Swispers Naturals we also have their Aloe Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. I've never used this one before. I don't think I've ever even really noticed that they had an eye makeup remover, although I do use their um, makeup remover, like little cotton rounds to remove my makeup. From Dermasukin we have another cleanser. This one is their Daily Gentle Wash. It says it soothes the skin whilst cleansing. Dermatologically certified, soap and fragrance free. So there are, that would be great there for sensitive skin. Also in this ridiculously large goodie bag is the Swispers Naturals Facial Cleansing Wipes, the cucumber ones. These are an absolute lifesaver if you're traveling or if you're going on a plane. I took these, a couple of packets of these when I went to America. They're great that you can just have in your carry-on luggage to remove your makeup if you're on a long-haul flight. And they're also just great, I also like if you need to sort of clean your hands and you've got nothing else, or while you're traveling you just want to take a small package of makeup removal wipes. We've still got so much stuff in here. From Dr. Lewin's there's the Firming Eye Cream. I mean, Dr. Lewin's is quite an expensive brand, so to get a, such a large product in there is amazing, and i probably give that one to my mum because she really likes Dr. Lewin's. From Beauty Essentials, which is Priceline's brand, we have the Clean Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. From People for Plants, we have the Rose Otto Burdock and Kokoda Plum Mist Toner. Now, I actually had this in my hands to pick up, so I'm so glad that I didn't buy it. Uh, this one says it hydrates, brightens, and energizes for all skin types, pure and fresh with vitamins B, C, E, K, minerals, and amino acids. Oh, we have a body scrub here. This one is from Sanctuary Spa Covent Garden, and it is their body scrub. I have never been. This just says, because the Sanctuary is UK's most loved spa, our highly trained therapists treat thousands of women every year at our day spa in London's Covent Garden. Has anybody been to that day spa? That's really cool. I love me a good body scrub, so that one looks amazing. From Simple, we have their Kind to Eyes Eye Makeup Corrector Pen. Wow, how have I never seen this before? This is like a little pen that has eye makeup remover in like a little tip, and you can use it to correct any mistakes. Um, 
in your makeup. It says it's non-greasy, removes eye makeup mistakes, it has a precision tip, no alcohol or oil, no perfume and no colours. That is really, really cool. I can't wait to test that one out. Another brand I haven't seen before, this is Hope's Relief, and this is their... Oops, I'm knocking stuff over. It wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't knock at least something over. It is their goat's milk soap with shea and cocoa butter. I've talked about goat's milk soap before because I was recommended to use that. It's particularly good if you have sensitive skin or blemish prone skin to remove your makeup and clean your skin without stripping it of your natural oils and things like that. Um, and it's also very natural and doesn't have a whole heap of like bad ingredients in it. From Burt's Bees, there's a lemon butter cuticle cream. It's 100% natural. There's a lot of natural products in this as well, which is great if that's something that you're into. In here we also have a couple of lip balms. We have one from Yes to Carrots. This is their Lip Butter in Berry. And we also have the Chapstick True Shimmer Botanical Berry little lip balm there as well. We have another product from Antipodes. This one I couldn't wait to use as well. This is the Avocado Pear Nourishing Night Cream. It says the Green Beauty Bible Awards winner. Um, scientifically shown to stimulate type 1 collagen production in human skin cells up to 92%. So I actually used this last night in conjunction with the Manuka Honey Mask and maybe it was these two together but I woke up with the softest feeling skin so I really can't wait to use that. And this is like a deluxe sample size. It's definitely a really good sample and it'll give you enough product to try. I also like that it felt really creamy on the skin and not in any way oily. So really, really excited to use that and if I enjoy it then I'll definitely be going back to buying the full size. From Model Co we have the Face Tan Hydrating Self Tanning Gel. I haven't used this before. I don't think I've used any of the Model Co tanning products before. I'm always a little bit wary of using like self tanners on the face, but I'm looking forward to, to giving it a shot maybe closer to summertime. If you've used this before, let me know what you thought. Did it break you out? That's always what I'm worried about with things like that. And we're coming around to the last few things finally. One of them is this Pure Topia Smooth and Renew Gentle Exfoliating Face Scrub for vibrant, healthy looking skin. It's 100% sulfate and paraben free. So another face scrub. I'm definitely going to have to share the love with some of these products because I've just got so many cleansers and scrubs and things to try. Also in here we have the Suvana Organic Certified Organic Pawpaw and Honey Balm. I love me some pawpaw ointments so hopefully this one will be really nice as well. We have a Models Prefer Matte Black Coal Pencil really really practical. I haven't tried this one before so I'm looking forward to giving that one a shot also. And then we have a couple of like more sample size products. This is from Manuka Doctor. It's the Purified Bee Venom and Manuka Honey Skincare range. We have the Appy Clear Skin Serum, the Appy Refined Target Targeted Wrinkle Refiller, and we also have the Appy Nourish Rejuvenating Face Mask. And these are just like little sachet um, samples there. And then we also have some more kind of samples and little discount cards. So there's a little peel off cucumber mask there. And we have a Palmer's Cocoa Butter Intensive Release Moisturizing Lotion. And then we have like $3 off Biore. This one here is um, $20 off the Yes to Carrots range. Um, there's some other bits and pieces, other discounts in there as well. So that's really cool. And then last but not least, we have a couple of products. We have a little mirror here. This is for your handbag. It's got a crystal on the front, which is actually so shiny that you can see yourself in it. And then inside we have a double-sided mirror. I think it is actually magnified. Yes, it is magnified. And then lastly, we have this little thing from Models Prefer. It's a little handbag makeup case. It's vinyl with the hot pink on the inside. Really, really cute. And that, guys, is everything that was inside this massive goodie bag. I am really, really impressed overall with the variety of products and just the amount of products. It's a little overwhelming, but I'd love to know if any of you guys went out and took advantage of this deal, what you thought of the, the products that you received, and also what you purchased in order to get the goodie bag. And other than that, I'm going to go. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys all in my next one. Bye!